We're in the kitchen of Ron and Terry Duhart's kitchen. Isn't it fabulous kitchen? It's beautiful, beautiful. Very functional. Lots of counter space. I like Yeah, I bet you like it too, Erica. I, I really love yeah. this home. Yeah, yeah. Me too. And when I walked in, I instantly felt great. Okay. I really did. Okay. Well, the smell of great food will do that to you. As Chef Eric Wells can do. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now, you know, uh, we're getting makeovers. The hosts of Help I Need a Makeover are getting makeovers. And you have to start from the inside out, and that's why he's here to help us be healthy and cook healthy. And we have these lovely snow peas from Blue Pike Farm. Mm -hmm. and we Eric a lot picked about those himself, didn't he? Yes, I did. Yeah. Um, I picked them from Blue Pike Farm earlier this week, and uh, uh -huh. they're really good. They're really yeah. nice. Yeah. I ate one right out the garden. Did you? I don't do that. But I did it. I did it. So what's our lesson for today? Well, what we're going to do here with the um, snow peas is we're going to blanch them. Uh, blanching is a simple cooking method here. Uh, what we're going to do is put the snow peas in boiling water mm -hmm. for about 30 to 45 seconds, then take them out, put them in an ice bath or ice water, and take them out, and they're basically done. Um, what that does is it basically locks in all the flavor and the color of the snow peas. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of times when people cook vegetables, they put them in boiling water for about you know, five to ten minutes, and they come out really gray and, and dull looking. Mm -hmm. When you blanch your vegetables, actually it gives them life. It gives them really, really good color, and it locks in the flavor of these snow peas. Okay. The vegetables. And, you know, I remember something back in my health class in <laughs> high school. Mm -hmm. Overcooking destroys nutrients. Exactly. Vitamins. Exactly. Okay, so blanching them, uh, it, it, putting it in the hot water, mm -hmm. and then taking it out and stopping that cooking process retains more of the nutrients and vitamins, right? Exactly, Jerry. Okay. That's exactly what happens. Mm -hmm. um, putting it again in the boiling water and putting it in the ice water here, basically, again, as you stated, stops the cooking process, it shocks the vegetables, and again, it locks in all the flavor and the, um, the nutrients in the vegetables. Now, we can do this. We can, th Is that the way we should cook most of our vegetables? Well, either um, blanching or steaming. Those are That's the healthiest ways. Those are the two healthy ways to actually prepare vegetables. Okay. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. I got one more question. Sure. Collard greens. Um, collard greens are a little difficult to uh -huh. blanch. Right. Um, any type of leafy vegetable is a mm -hmm. little difficult to blanch. They, it can be done. Mm -hmm. it's just, it takes a little work, but mm -hmm. it can be done. Okay. You know, it's not a problem with doing it. Okay. I, uh, I like, love to. I love to blanch. Excuse me. I love to okay. blanch like broccoli. Um, you know, asparagus is my favorite to blanch. Okay. Uh, asparagus is probably the best vegetable to blanch. Okay. And, uh, any type of green vegetable, um, mm -hmm. non-leafy vegetable, is okay. great to great to blanch. Excellent. Okay. Let's see how you do it. Okay. okay. Great. So what we're going to do here is we have these snow peas again from Blue Pike Farm. Mm -hmm. We're just going to drop these in the uh, boiling water. Now, while they're in the boiling water here, I'm going to go ahead and put a little kosher salt in here. Kosher salt you can get in any store. I like kosher salt, salt a little better than your regular salts. Um, it doesn't have the iodine level um, that other salts have, your iodine salt have. And kosher salt is easier to use for chefs. It's just easier to kind of pick up and kind of drop. Kosher salt you can't do I mean, regular salt you can't do that. Okay. Okay. So we basically, the flavor and, and color here in the uh, vegetables, they're, um, they're locked in here. Again, we've had them in for a couple of seconds here. 30 or 45 seconds, and we're just going to kind of put them in this little water bath here and just stop the cooking process. Now, you guys see how uh, the the color is just kind of locked in? You see it's bright green here? Right. Okay. Yeah, you know, you saw how they started off. They were a little gray, mm -hmm. you know, when we started off, but they're they're bright green, and they're basically done here. Okay. So what we're going to do is just bring this bowl over. Okay. Okay. And they're done. So okay. what we're going to do is go ahead and plate these. I can do this. I can do this. Yeah. What I like to do is just go ahead and plate, you know, and then what I'm going to do here is top with a little lemon zest okay. on here. Now, um, what I want to do here, uh, Tamika, is show you how to kind of do, or Tamika and, and Jerry, show you guys how to make lemon zest. It's Caroline, very, very simple. Is she getting this? Caroline, are you getting this? Okay. <laughs> no, great. Now, what we're going to do here, did you have a question, Jerry? Yeah, Eric. Are we going to serve these vegetables at room temperature? Definitely. Now, okay. what you can do here, if you don't want to serve them at room temperature, what you can do is you can take these, put them in a saute pan, a little mm -hmm. olive oil, a little butter, okay. toss them, just put a little heat on them, a little salt, pepper, a little garlic if you like, okay. and they're perfect. But I like them like this. I okay. think it's really, really good okay. like this. Now, as far as the lemon zest, what we're going to do here is we're just going to take our lemon, just a regular lemon, mm -hmm. 
I get to bring in, <laughs> bring up the juices a little bit, and we're just going to take this and kind of zest it. Now, this zester you can find at almost any store, any type of um, cookware store, you can find. But see, the, the key to zesting a, 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 zesting a uh, lemon is you don't want to get down to the pit, to the white part. Okay. If you get down to the pit, that's very, very bitter, and that's not good at all. Okay. So you just want to go over, okay? Okay. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells good. It, it smells, smells great. Carolyn's down. Just on very the lightly, right? Just very light. Yeah, okay. exactly. You don't want to, you know, get in there and grind down. It, mm. it should be fine, just like that. Okay. Got to have a light touch. Exactly. So okay. we're going to do a good job. Good job. Okay. What we're going to do here is just kind of take a little of that lemon zest and just put it right on top of our... Uh, Carolyn's down on the spring. She's taking notes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I can do that. The good thing about the um, the actual grater here, you know, you get it from the behind, back, the back here, and you uh -huh. just kind of slide it down here. Okay. And then what I like to finish is finish with a little salt over the top, a little Ooh. cracked white pepper. Okay. And then a little extra virgin olive oil over the top here. Just a little color, a little presentation. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You didn't need to hear that, audience. <laughs> <laughs> and that's basically, that's, that's a great little side dish there. Again, blank snow peas, a little lemon zest on top, salt and pepper, a little olive oil. Mm. Perfect. Oh, boy, it looks good. Looks good. Presentation is everything. Yes, yeah. you have it. Ryan, it, 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 I'm talking to our cameraman. Ryan, can you catch these two plates here? Can you catch those two plates? Look at that. Look at that. And what we have here is I um, pan seared some... Uh, lamb chops, some baby lamb chops, mm -hmm. and I also made a little uh, wild mushroom risotto. Uh, risotto is a, a northern Italian uh, rice dish. It's really, really good, really okay. hearty dish. Okay. And I uh, reduced a little um, uh, red Zinfandel instead of using white Zinfandel. Uh -huh. Reduced a little red Zinfandel uh -huh. on top. That's the, the red sauce around the sides, and okay. this, is, this is a great dish. It's okay. so cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I saw you preparing that red Zinfandel. Uh, Sauce is it is a sauce? It's, it's, a, it's a reduction. Good, good thoughts, Mickey. It is a reduction. Uh -huh. What I did basically was okay. I took the um, I pan seared the um, the lamb chops, mm -hmm. took them out, let them kind of rest, mm -hmm. and then what I did was I took a little um, red zinfandel, deglazed the pan with a little uh, beef broth, and just kind of went from there. You mm -hmm. know, just kind of let it reduce, and mm -hmm. you know, it went fine from there, and just let it reduce for about you know ten minutes. You okay. know, under like a medium medium high heat. Okay. Is it? Okay. You know, I heard the rumor that you were getting a restaurant. <laughs> yes, um, I am actually opening a restaurant in uh, 2008, in August of 2008. Uh, it will be on Carnegie, oh, about okay. a half a mile from Cleveland Clinic. So, um, you know, it, it's a blessing, and I'm looking forward to it. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll keep you posted, and I guess we will start to eat pretty soon. So we'll be right back. Yeah. The good part. <laughs>